Hi, I'm Sunny Cook, and I have the honor of saying just a few words in honor of and recognition of my good, good friend, David Wayne Kuhn. David came to California in 2005 from Washington State to serve at Evergreen Valley College as president. He then went on to serve and is still serving at College of Marin in the Bay Area. And I just want to know, or want you to know, there are a couple of things for which I will always remember David. One is he had this way of reaching back and pulling up, recruiting, hiring, and developing diverse leaders of tomorrow. He helped with CEO development programming, and he did all that in the background, quietly, without any fanfare or recognition, because that's who David is. I also will always remember his contributions to beginning a, an LGBT caucus at the national level and also at the state level. He was one of the early, um, you know, openly gay presidents, and he wanted to create community around that population, and so that's another impact that he will leave on our system. So David, it's been an honor and a pleasure working with you. You have many accomplishments, and we will review some of them, uh, but you will mostly leave a hole in our hearts as you move on to your next phase. We wish you the very best. All the best to you in retirement. Over the last 12 years, David has transformed the College of Marin from an institution fraught with accreditation issues, faculty dysfunction, union and legal issues, to a model of student-centeredness, healthy participatory governance, and strong employee morale. He has hired over 85% of the full-time faculty, 95% of the management team, and 49% of the classified staff significantly diversifying the district along the way. Some of his accomplishments include taking the old independent foundation out of receivership and developing a new auxiliary foundation that has raised tens of millions of dollars during his tenure. He oversaw the successful end of a facilities bond that he inherited mired with community and trusty frustration and was able to get major support for the new bond program, which is now coming to an end after transforming the Indian Valley campus and making major improvements at the Kent Field campus, culminating in almost $500 million in capital equipment and other enhancements over the last 12 years. David's commitment to diversity and equity is also evidenced by receiving the John W. Rice Award at both Evergreen Valley College in 2006 and again at College of Marin in 2020. At the heart of David's leadership has always been his dogged support of students and his care for employees and their success. 15 years ago, David took a chance on a young counselor who wanted to work at an institution whose public core values were opportunity, equity, and social justice, and gave her a chance to serve as the Dean of Counseling and Matriculation when her current institution said she was too young and didn't have enough seat time to do the very same job. David's leadership and legacy still permeate EVC, just recently, an employee was looking at the presidential wall of pictures in my office suite and said, there is our beloved, pointing to David's picture. I couldn't agree more. I could go on and on for hours about special memories, funny stories, and the ways I've learned from David and his leadership, but there just isn't enough time in this video clip. What I can say is that no matter the years, or the different institutions. I am so grateful for all the ways you worked alongside, supported, and celebrated me. The great Maya Angelou once said, people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. You've led organizational transformation during your time in California's community colleges, making the lives of students, employees, and community members richer in so many ways. I have no doubt people won't just forget how you made them feel, David, but I am certain they won't forget what you did either. Your legacy is lasting. I love you and couldn't be happier for you. Congratulations. Friends and colleagues, 
First, let me begin by thanking Sonny and Tamil for the heartfelt introduction. You have always been two of my favorite people. Love to you both. After 45 years of continuous employment, including 33 years as an administrator in higher education, and the past 18 years as president or superintendent president, I've indeed made the decision to step back and live life with a bit less responsibility and stress, and perhaps fewer sleepless nights. The events of the past three years in particular, including the pandemic, social and political strife, and the reckoning of racial injustice, unfortunately took its toll on many of us. But I've truly had a great run, and I've defied the longevity odds as a CEO at both College of Marin and Evergreen Valley College. I feel fortunate to have been in a profession with a mission of social justice, where we have the opportunity each day to transform the lives of individuals, families, communities, and hopefully society through the power of education. And I've been so humbled, motivated, and truly inspired by the many students I've had the honor of knowing and advocating on behalf of over the years. One of the values instilled upon me early in my life is that when possible, one should leave something in a better place or in better condition than when they came upon it. While there's never an ideal time to move on as the job is never done, I'll be leaving with the solace of knowing that I've done what I could to leave College of Marin in a better place than when I arrived in 2010. On a personal note, some of you know that when I arrived at Evergreen Valley College in 2005, there were only two or maybe three of us who were out LGBTQ CEOs. Fast forward 18 years, truly warms my heart to see so many talented, capable, and out LGBTQ plus individuals leading our colleges. I hope that in some small way, my early journey made your journey that much easier. I look forward to our continued work together over the next 10 months as I endeavor to finish strong. I consider myself so fortunate to have been able to collaborate with so many of you. And at this time, I take the moment to thank you for your friendship and support over the years. Cheers.